Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being there for this other edition of Viewpoint. In today's edition, we'll be talking some politics, and we are looking directly at the SDF party, the skirmish that is going on in this party between party big weeks. And in today's edition of the program, we'll be receiving a guest out of the country. He is in Rwanda. He is not a new person, but he's somebody we've had him here in the studio. And then there is another guest here in the studio. He is not a new person as well. Permit me to go out to Rwanda to welcome uh, Mr. Tabong Kal, who is there. Good evening, Mr. Tabong, and thank you for being there for us. Uh, good evening, Mr. Venatius Mange. It's been long, and I'm wondering how Cameroon is going fairly well. It is true that I'm here in Rwanda. It's about, uh, about a, month, uh, a month and a half down. I will first of all begin by greeting my wife, uh, Madame Tabong Galashi Milen, and not to forget my humble brother called uh, Tabong Hilaria Peso. And I'll also greet one somebody very special in my life here uh, in Rwanda, which is Alain Chombang, who is just like my class delegate here. Uh, Mr. Venatius, I'm happy that uh, I am talking from Rwanda, and I believe that we shall be, we shall be really. Thank you, Mr. Tabong. Thank you so much for being there for Ross. We'll take uh, Mr. Ngum Eric. Good evening, sir. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Good evening, Mr. Venatius, and uh, good evening to all our viewers there. Uh, it's, it's my pleasure to be here again for us to share uh, views concerning our country, Cameroon, as far as politics is concerned. It is our pleasure as well, and the pleasure of our viewers out there. Like you all know, you are not you are, you are, you are not new people on, on viewpoint. So we'll go straight away, take the first part of the program, which will be, be yes or no answer session. We begin with question one, and Mr. Tabong, I'm with you. Discord within the SDF party, any impact on the future of the party? Yes, of course. Mr. Tabong thinks there is an impact, and uh, Mr. Ngum? No, I don't find any impact. Mr. Ngum says there is no impact on the future of the SDF party. We take the second question, Mr. Ngum, I will begin with you. As Nijon Frundi steps down from the helm of the party, can the party still occupy the frontline role in Cameroon politics? I don't think so. No. He says no, the SDF, SDF will no longer. Mr. Tabong, would SDF still occupy the frontline role in SDF in Cameroon politics as Nijon steps down? No, I... Uh, from the front, I have mixed feelings because if need just stay there, it can, it can, it can't, it can't have, it can occupy. It all depends. It all depends the person who will be holding that particular party, right? What he's going to do and what he wish to put as a program for Cameroonians to listen and maybe to trust him and have confidence in him. So your answer is yes, it can, or yes or no, it cannot. Yeah, that is. Our, I have mixed feelings as far as that is concerned. It all depends on the person that would, all depends on the person that would hurt the party. Okay, yes or no, depending on who leads the party. Let us go to part two of the program. If you are just joining us, you are watching Viewpoints here on DBS Television. We are also broadcasting live on our Facebook page. The SDF party of recent has undergone so many squabbles, so many quarrels among party members. And in today's edition of the program, we are looking at the discord that is taking place between ne uh, the, the Nijon's party, that is Joshua Osi and Honorable Nature, concerning the, 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 the petition that was signed by 26 Cameroonian MPs to the United States Congress. And we are asking the question, the discord within this party, what is the impact on the future of the party? I begin with you, Mr. Tabong, from out there. Joshua, I say the SF party, the SF party, if ni, the chairman, Ni John Fundi, wants to step down, then we look for a good and courageous leader. For example, you, you ask a question to understand because Ninche and uh, Honorable Ninche and 
Joshua Ossi, which is Honorable Joshua Ossi, they are, it seems as if there's an infight who, who, who to head, who to head the SDF party. Now, I was like, tell, I was like trying to give you a balance sheet of those people. You would imagine that, but first and foremost, Joshua Ossi had to sign, sign a petition in the, U, in, 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 in the National Assembly, which was to be sent to the U.S., to the U.S. That was not good because Anglophones are suffering. Anglophones are suffering, and you see that he has had, Joshua Ossi has had so many, so many problems in the SF, in the SF party. For instance, the last presidential election, the SF party had to cover that the seat of Pete because Joshua Ossi was a flag bearer of that particular, of, of, of the SF party. So I am telling you that the SF party can only move on to be where it was yesterday if and only if this, the chairman is chairman Ni John Funzi brings up a charismatic, a charismatic and a courageous leader. Charismatic and a courageous leader. Like Joshua O.C. pitching in that particular post. In that particular post. Because Cameroonians, to an extent, do not trust him again. If you can go, because the SF party is a, is, the SF party is a social party. Power to the people. Forward to the people. So I will not see why an individual will take upon him to sign a petition. That's the more reason why during the neck meeting on Saturday, he was asked by the neck to withdraw that signature. It is to say, most of those who most of those who are in the SF party were not that particular picture. He took it upon himself, forgetting about, he forgot about party discipline. And thereby betraying Southern Cameroonians, the Anglophones, you know, were the clamoring peace alone. So that is the, where I will bring in somebody like Nietzsche. Nietzsche is a courageous somebody who, who, or who is always there for the people. For example, look at what happened with our COVID funds. Nietzsche had to make the, we got all the press, the Judah, he had to make such a way that. People, the presidency now decided to see into where our funds, company funds, went to, and the how that is where the, the presidency decided to bring out a commission that we get, that we get on this issue. So that is what I was trying to tell you, Mr. Bena. And also from the beginning, I told you that the SDF party can get back to where it was yesterday, if and only if, if, if and only if it's headed by a good leader, a good and charismatic, courageous leader. That's Mr. Benashu. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Tabong. We'll continue with uh, uh, Mr. Ngum Eric here, who thinks that the, the, that the discord has no impact on the future of the party. You've listened to Mr. Uh, Tabong speaking out there. What, do you still maintain your position? Uh, thank you. In the more relaxed manner, I want to say that the behavior and the infighting as far as SDF or uh, big wings are concerned, it has no impact to create as far as the party is concerned in future. What am I saying here? I look at SDF and I reflect back to the concept of the product life cycle. You know, when the product at, at arrives at the level of the decline stage, it has a lot of characteristics. All, all is that the product is leading towards failure. Mm -hmm. SDF have collapsed. Since from the creation of 1990, Fundry failed, 1992 failed in 2000 and, uh, 1997 failed in 2004, failed in 2011, and uh, Joshua taken off with the same failure in 2018. Mm -hmm. So what we, when we analyze SDF, we discover that at what have killed SDF and still killing them now, taking them out of the political market, is what they call greed to power. Okay. They are rather concentrating on who should be here rather than building the trust that Cameroonians want to see and follow them as a political party. Mm -hmm. It does not strange me if I see uh, Ninja and uh, O.C. Joshua fighting over power that will be voted for. It does not strain us because it is a party that have already collapsed and they are just mounting all the characteristics to see how they can dance out of the political fair. Mr. Ngum, Mr. Ngum when you look at the political landscape of Cameroon, they will tell you that uh, SDF is the first opposition party in Cameroon. 
Yes. According to you, it doesn't stand in that line. SDF was the first opposition party okay, in Cameroon. Let's let's correct it. Yeah, let's, it was. In 2018, they had three point something percent. Yes, the fourth position. So why should we still talking about 1992 uh, statistics? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about now. Uh, uh, what percentage did they occupy in 2018? It was three point something. Yes. Telling us that they are no longer the main opposition party. Mm -hmm. They have lost their focus. They have concentrated on positions. And what we are trying to find out is, is it the discord within the party? Has it not considered? Because the discord is not only the, the you, you know, the problem between mm, Joshua and, and no, Nietzsche. No, no, no. We should be, we should be fast to understand that when we talk about SDF. Yes. SDF terminal was in Northwest. Mm -hmm. And if SDF is... Northwest and Southwest. Northwest and Southwest. Yes. And if FDA is failing today, is because of all what we all know, the, the crisis? crisis in mm -hmm. the Northwest and Southwest that could not allow the militants of SDF to go out to vote. Mm -hmm. Now, if we are talking about this crisis collapsing, we were expecting SDF to even boycott the presidential election in 2018, the mm -hmm. way they boycotted in, in 1997. Mm -hmm. As they went in for election, their militants have run, uh, escaped from war to, uh, to Northwest they were here in Yaoundé without their voting card. Mm -hmm. They were in, in, in maybe in, in Douala without their in voting Bafusam, card. In other parts so of the country. All they were they were going in under the influence of maybe or uh, we can side O.C. Joshua, mm -hmm. knowing very well that where their strength is always coming from is no longer there. Mm -hmm. So they, they have lost their strategies. Mm -hmm. And so that we can now uh, concentrate on the misunderstanding that is coming up mm -hmm. between Joshua and Ninja is just because of the power they are seeing. SDF slogan was power to the people, mm -hmm. but they have concentrated power to them first. Mm -hmm. That is why you see, I can say without reasonable doubt, that that is why you see somebody like O.C. Joshua want to fill his own office first before the power now to every person, every person yes. because you cannot understand the reason why oc joshua seeing a weakness of what uh Weber mm -hmm. did as far as parliament is concerned standing out as a lone person to decry what is not correct but joshua could not stand out for that mm -hmm. i think that when people are following you they think that they are following you because when it is time for truth it will be spoken if joshua cannot speak the truth he is he's just going back to what i said sdf have faced the decline stage mm -hmm. and all their characteristics is tilted towards going out of the political market my even my, my main advice if uh, uh foundry have expressed the intention to step down they should dissolve the party and bring up a different name okay. a different vision okay. a different strategy from zero. there would they have an entrance into the political Landscape field again in cameroon. in cameroon if they continue this way then i'm seeing the future of one party system because the the the, the, the conflict is not only for sdf mm -hmm. we have sdf with another political parties mm -hmm. sooner than later we will go back to one party system because the electoral code has been mandated in such a way that no matter the dance they are dancing they cannot make out something except they come in as one person okay now we'll take the views of uh, mr tabong out there before we get to question two mr tabong uh mr ngum eric here in the studio thinks that the sdf party had been failing since 1992 1997 uh, right up to 2001 2011 2018 this are uh, his point he thinks that the sdf has been failing do you have something to say to that before we go to part two of the pro question two of the program no, I would tell Mr. Ngum that the SDF has not been failing because if he's seated in that studio today and saying something, it is because the SDF has not failed. The democracy we have today in, the democracy we have today in Cameroon, the, 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 the speech that we can say anything to you on TV is because of the SDF party. We should give the credential and kudos to that. If we are now talking, the SDF party has not failed because the SDF party has brought, the SDF party to an extent has brought Cameroonians to understand so many things. Down to the SDF party, so many developments, we had so many developments in Cameroon. It was as, it, this was as a result of the SDF party. It's not, it, it, let it not be because they are failing in the election, they are failing in the election that he will say the SDF party has failed. No, because 
in, in 1992, the SDF party won the, the won the election, and the, the election were, the election was rigged by 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 Mr. Bia. That is the truth about it. The, he should not say he should not say that the SDF has been a failure. From 19 from 19 from 1992 right up to today, the SDF has had representative in the National Assembly and even in the Senate. That is not a failure. You shouldn't condemn the, condemn the if today they are having problem everywhere in this world. People Okay, Mr. Uh, your, your point is clear, Mr. Tabong, the, that the SDF has not failed. While we get back to you, let's take question two with uh, Mr. Ngum Eric. Mr. Ngum Eric, from your point of view, which Mr. Tabong is rectifying there that they have not failed, that they did not succeed in the elections, did not mean that they have failed. They have given us ways like freedom of speech from what he's saying. But let's go back to question two for time, uh, want of time. Nijon Frundi is already leaving the chieftaincy of uh, the SDF party and there are every indications that a new uh, national president will be coming up. And the question we are asking is, will the party, even though you think that the party has been, uh, you know, failing, can that party still occupy the 1990 type of party that we used to know, SDF, to be the frontline opposition party in Cameroon? Uh, I earlier said I don't see any future for the SDF party. For the SDF party. Mm -hmm. I will say it now and I will still repeat it. I want to first of all begin at that area to appreciate the fact that uh, Nijon Foundry is exhibiting an example to the Cameroonian people that it is good to lead and uh, retired. So we, I want to applaud his, uh, him for that decision. But if it comes to him going down, well, let's say uh, SDF is an organized party they, and uh, they are working under some policies and their policies say their chairpersons are voted. So therefore, if they are going in to vote, when we talk about the party failing, the SDF have run elections here. What makes you fail? It is this repeat strategy that makes you not to succeed even one day. If they are talking about 1992, that they won elections, I think this is that these are statements of disorder. We talk, we say that they are statement of disorder. This is what Professor Maureen Camto said, uh, uh, Jim Akele B. Mm -hmm. And he brought a lot of disorder. If we won in 1992, what happened? Mr. History have said. Mr. Tabu replies there <coughs> that, uh, uh, that, that, the, that the election was, elections were rigged. No, 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 no. Fundry said he does not want to climb the chair. Why? blood is spreading mm -hmm. i want to say that sdf have failed okay. why the blood that would have been flown and succeeded that time is not up to the blood that is still flowing now mm -hmm. if they won election in 1992 everything would have been done so that they sit on that chair to prevent the war we are going on today with mm -hmm. many cameroonians on the street are saying it today that the suffering we are even going through today is because of the laxity of 1992 they are quoting mm -hmm. we don't even want to hear it again because it is the 1992 that have led us to where we are today yes if something belongs to you take it politics knows that power is not given is taken mm -hmm. and that is why if they say they won but the president of the country took it. No, but they did not want to use force. They did not want to go into, you know, conflict. In and where are we today? Conflict. Where are we today? Conflict right down to the SDF itself. So we avoided it, but we are still back into it. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that if Fundry have said he's stepping down, let them go in for elections, elect the chairperson, and let the chairperson follow the party, what? The party uh, rules. Yes. SDF have rules. But the error I want to advise before they even go for election is that they have to start decentralizing power. Mm -hmm. If the chairperson is, uh, want to, uh, they say O.C. Joshua is going in, Ninja want to go in, Joshua was the flag barrier. The flag barrier should not be the same time the chairperson. This is where we are today because everything is at the hem of one person. Let them have the, chair, the flag barrier and the chairperson should be what? Different. So that even they succeed, which is not even possible, then they can have ways of going ahead. Mr. Ngum, you said something that the SDF has their constitution, their laws, and we think that their law maybe that should be one of their laws that says um the flag bearer is the candidate 
that will take you know during elections they designate who should take the the, the, the you know should represent a party for example during the presidential election yes. so i think that's the, one, one of the rules and before they are talking about constitutional reform at the level of electoral system in Cameroon, they should even look at that first in the, in the level of the parties because okay. it is the party policies that comes and succeed the country. Mm -hmm. So I think that if they are talking about, I'm not refusing, but I'm just saying that Joshua, if he is the flag barrier, he should maintain that. Mm -hmm. And not being the not candidate? For the chairperson. Okay. That is accumulation of power. Okay. All right. That is what you think. Mr. Tabong, we go over to you for t want of time. We are asking, as Nate John is stepping down, is there any future? Or would, or would the SDF still occupy the frontline role? And you think that it depends on who takes over? Let us hear you out. I am still repeating, can even come out with examples. Oh no, right now, if the electoral code is not changed, the ACRM party will not be election because the loss is crystal clear that before going for the you must have at least represented of councillors people should forget the fact that the anglophone crisis has come to destabilize the SF party the SF party had good policies when you go through their when you go through I'm not a member of the SF party but when you go through their program you will understand that the SF party has very good very good program for me. I am telling you, Mr. Venatius, if a good and charismatic leader takes over the party, things are going to work. Things are going to work. He will not tell me that if Mr. Bihar leaves power today, things will not work. Things are going to work. That's the truth about that's the truth. Let him stop telling us that the Eze is failing and Eze will never come back to where it was yesterday. It's all up. It's all a leader. And a good one, of course. That's what I have to say. Thank you, Mr. Tabong, for bringing in your point. And your point is clear that the SDF would maintain the frontline role depending on who takes over, depending who, how charismatic the new leader, the person who succeeds, Nijon Frundi, is. And there are names that are already coming up. Joshua Osi, Donatus Njong, even Nature himself. There are names that are coming up, you know. The SDF recently had their first 2021 NIC meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, for want of time, we are calling it uh, a day here while expecting that the discussions will continue on our Facebook page. And we would be telling you that in subsequent editions of the program, we will still take for, you know, look at what is affecting the SDF further into the program. Thank you, Mr. Tabong, for being out there in Rwanda and for accepting to talk to us tonight in today's edition of uh, Viewpoint. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ngum Eric, for being there as well. Thank you so much. I equally salute all the viewers that are looking at us this evening. Bye-bye until we meet again. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it there for today's edition of the program. Hoping to have you again tomorrow. Take a blessed evening. Goodbye.